Ah, shit. Here we go again. Hello, guys. My name is Doke, and I am terrified and excited at the very same time. You know, I got my very own, very first VR headset. I got it because of one specific art-related reason, which we will elaborate on a little bit later. I tried virtual reality before, but it's been years ago and I kind of forgot about the feeling. So I was curious. <sighs> this is fucking amazing and fucking scary at the same time. The real life won't make any sense anymore. Anyways, the reason why I got VR is painting. There is this game called King Spray, which promises a real life painting experience without any real life problems. Right now, I'm gonna test the app and I'm gonna tell you whether this is something every artist, pro or beginner should have. You know, I got the idea to get a VR headset because of NFTs. Owning art in a digital form makes more and more sense these days. And creating it in VR makes even more sense. Alrighty. Welcome to my VR. I have to admit that I have tried the game before about three years ago. Back then I had to have some cables going out of my head. Right now, I'm cable free for now. First of all, I wanna try how this works. So I'm gonna go into a well-known environment underpass. <laughs> wow, it even rattles. This is not realistic at all. If I do this, I die. I wish I have this in reality. All kinds of cans in one hand. Ooh, I have a, ooh, ooh, okay. All kinds of different caps right here. Okay, I can pick a color like this. Pink dot, thin cap, feather duster. Hmm, 100% beef. Anyways, how do I move? I gotta move. Ah, all right. This is as far as I can go from the underpass. This is so realistic. I mean, the water is a little bit lame. All right, so let's make a dot. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> you can even see the glare from sun. This is so realistic. How do I make it go away? Ah, I just remembered that I've been watching some reviews of this game and there is no undo button. Why? Uh, let's try again. <laughs> Look at that. Let's try pink dot. Oh yeah, this is what I've been looking for. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. Long and strong. Ooh. One thing that I'm impressed by is that the can actually behaves even better than in reality because in reality you would get uh, at least some dust around the stroke. But over here it's just, it's super clean. Look at that, it's like a marker. Okay, I have a phone in my hand now. What can I do with it? Multiplayer, clean. Aye aye. Woof, back in the studio. Let's hit some trains, I guess. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's a few days later because I had to paint some real life murals. But right now, let's get back to the reality, virtual reality. So let's begin. Funny story, the very first and the very only train that I ever painted looked like this, exactly. And I never finished it, so let's do that now. Metallic, can I get like a chrome color? Chrome? Okay, let's try metallic color. This is a setting that I turned on that I can actually see the size of my stroke. It would be nice to have something like this in real life. Ooh, Opa. 
This is even better than real life Chrome. <laughs> I love this. Why I? There's something coming. Ah, there is a train back there. That doesn't bother me. Why I see, boy? Let's use pink dot for the fill, just like in reality. It's amazing how they even created the simulation of wet color. Look at that, and it disappears, it fades away. <laughs> Do I want a background? You know what I don't. Chrome and black it is. I'll try to do it with a chisel. Okay, but I didn't want metallic black. I want normal. It's not metallic. Okay, so it was just wet. Yesterday, while painting a real life mural, I did 12 kilometers. 13,000 steps. It will be nice to have a teleport like this in real life. <laughs> I love the fact that it doesn't make all that much dust. But structure like this is a pain in the ass in virtual reality as well. One thing that I like about VR is that you are actually moving. I mean, I just mentioned that I have a teleport, but you know, I'm doing this physically. It's different to classic PC games where you just sit behind the computer for hours. And when you actually play games like boxing or some other sports games, you can get pretty sweaty. <laughs> Look. This is exactly what would happen in real life. Oh no, one cool trick. If I press one button, I can sample the color that I already used. So I can do this. This is amazing because in reality, I would need to go somewhere. I would need to take a different can. I know that it sounds like bitching about very little problems, but when you paint for eight hours, these little problems become a real pain in the ass. I would like to get higher. I can probably grab this. Ooh, I'm very strong. I have a very strong wrist. <laughs> Boom. Okay, how do I get on it? Like this. Simple. Nice. <laughs> can I teleport on the top of it? <laughs> I can. That's cool. Look at that. I love it. Can I get? Yes, I can. Ah, this is perfect. Uh, camera. Boom. From this angle. Boom. From here. Oh, there's a train coming. Boom. Boom. That was nice. I want to do more. Subway. Okay, let's try Subway. Ooh. <laughs> D. Okay, so I have my sketch placed on the subway. Let's make a fill. So let's say that I want to make a fade. I'm gonna sample this color and I'm gonna make it darker and more red. Something like that. All right, let's try to make a fade. I believe this pressure thingy should help me to control this. Or maybe no. I don't know why am I on my knees when I can just press a button and boom. Uh, Alright, but I need this and... Hmm. Okay, I will try to fade the whole piece now. Okay. So I've been playing with the fading a little and this is the result. I gotta say that it's pretty good. I mean, it's still a little bit more confusing than in reality, but when you look at those fades, 
I mean, it's also about the skill of the person who's doing it. But yeah, um, definitely it's possible to do nice gradients in this uh, environment. Boom. Boom. Doki Holkar. Let's try to make some highlights with white and pink dot. Okay, so highlights are there and what about a little bit of shadow? Because these letters are overlapping, so I will try feather duster. Yeah, that kind of worked. I will do the same thing right here. Also over here. And right here. Looking good? I guess I can sign this masterpiece. <laughs> My first whole car. There you have it. I just need a picture, but because of these stupid pillars, it's a bit of a problem. I can't take a picture. <laughs> okay, this is kind of okay. What about this angle? Okay. Nice. But there is this one thing that bothers me. During the painting of this piece, I realized that one work that I just messed the piece. Um, I realized that there is this one thing that I really miss. When you take a can and you put it this way, you get a fade this way and a very sharp line on this side. But over here, it doesn't really work that way. See? I would like to have a fade right here, but I don't have it, I don't get it. It just doesn't work that way. And that bothers me because I use that technique a lot. Ah, and it's ruined. Right after painting of the whole car, I decided that I need to give it a proper go, proper try with a complicated graffiti piece, which was a little bit of a challenge for me because to be honest, I didn't paint or even sketch graffiti for a good period of time. But I started to paint and eventually I somehow got into it. When I try to compare painting in VR with painting in reality, uh, for sure, there are no real problems you have all the colors you want no weather we all know that right but if we want to talk about the actual painting process VR kind of wins one of the biggest benefits no problems with wet color you don't need to wait for anything it dries instantly also the can control is pretty predictable when you get used to it and when you get used to all the controls and all the possibilities that you have, the workflow in VR, it's awesome. I mean, I wish that I can switch colors in reality like pow, 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 pow. One of the biggest benefits that I see here with the VR is the physicality. This is one of the things that I really like about painting on walls, that it's very physical and the strokes the shapes you make them with your whole body and it's pretty much the same with the VR set. There are some negatives though. Um, I find it a little bit hard to make straight lines, especially with some caps. It's not a big deal, but I couldn't really get it as clean as in reality. Then there are other problems such as the lack of tape or any other tool than a spray paint. What comes to my mind right now is metaverse. The idea that maybe one day we will see each other in a big virtual city and we will compete in making uh, graffiti pieces in this virtual city. We will compete with the quality, the quantity. Basically, we will do the very same thing as real graffiti writers do in reality <laughs> right now. Maybe it will be some sort of game like GTA 5 or whatever. That's what comes to my mind right now and that idea excites me. But we are not there yet. I'm gonna wrap it up like this. If you want to create beautiful digital art and quality is your number one priority, this is not really for you. However, 
if you want to try graffiti or if you want to get as close as possible to real life spray paint experience or you simply want to have fun and you don't want to be like this behind your tablet, you wanna move and you wanna, you know, have that physicality there. This is amazing, really impressive. All right, cool. See you at some real walls.